Scotland Yard is a fun and light game of bluffing and deduction, but is there much strategy that can be applied to the gameplay? Absolutely. In this video, I will give you some tips on how to better play both Mr. X and the detectives here on Legendary Tactics. Scotland Yard is a game that requires some daring and boldness on the part of both sides, mixed with some cunning and understanding of your opponent. These cannot be taught. However, there are some solid strategies that will help you improve your play. Number 1. The Turn 3 Reveal Mr. X's first reveal will be after his third move, and it is key to setting the tone for the rest of the game. While some of the advice in this section might be obvious, it is still crucially important to get it right. At the beginning of the game, the detectives are aimless in their movement, as they don't know where Mr. X is. So, the best thing to do for them is to try and end their second move of the game on a spot which has all three types of transportation. This gives the detectives the most options to work with once Mr. X makes the big turn 3 reveal and allows them to zoom closer to rapidly cut down on Mr. X's available options. The first objective of the detectives is simply to contain Mr. X, to restrict his options and to work to narrow them down. By the same token, Mr. X wants to turn up on a similar location so that turn 4 can be flexible. Mr. X will need to make some decisions based on where the detectives end up after the reveal. This advice applies to any reveal turn. You want to have as many options to escape as possible and give the detectives too many routes to cover making them take gambles on where you might be headed. And I think it goes without saying that Mr. X wants to surface at least two moves away from any of the detectives, but I thought I would say that anyway. Number 2. Know the map well Knowing the map well is key to winning as either side. The map of Scotland Yard, like London itself, is idiosyncratic, with many little twists and turns that can make all the difference in a game. Mr. X should try to stay away from the corners in general, as they are the most dangerous, allowing the detectives to more easily box Mr. X in. The bottom left of the board is a good example, where there is only a single path to escape to the north. At the same time, any possible move should be on the table, as being unpredictable is so important to winning. And, in general, don't get too caught up in taking certain interesting routes for the sake of taking them. For example, the taxi line between space 122 and 95 through Kensington Gardens slash Hyde Park on the left side of the board and Regent's Park at the top left seem to have a certain allure to them, but only go there if it makes sense. Regent's Park in particular has some very poorly connected stops. The detectives should use the map to fluctuate between containing Mr. X in general and narrowing down their focus in an attempt to catch him. Anytime you lose Mr. X, expand your scope and get to the best positioned spaces on the map that give you the most options to close in on him upon his next reveal. Number 3. Ticket Management I think Mr. X should almost exclusively use taxis and black tickets, and the occasional bus. This is because taxis provide the detectives with the least amount of information. Mr. X could literally be anywhere. Taking the underground obviously narrows down the options too much for your opponents, despite the short-lived feeling of distance and safety it provides. My favorite Mr. X move is to use a black ticket, even if I'm only taking a taxi, on the turn after my reveal, as it provides the least amount of information to the detectives hot on my tail, especially if I revealed on a spot with all three types of transport. In my opinion, this is the absolute strongest use of the black tickets, other than pretending to hop onto a ferry, or did I take the ferry after all? If you're looking to confound the detectives in this way, space number 115 and 157 are best, as they each have two potential ferry landings to really mix up the possibilities. And if you take the ferry, be sure to immediately follow up with a taxi ticket, as taking a bus narrows down the possibilities too much as to where you might have gone. That said, taxis do limit your range, so it can be hard to stay at a good distance from the detectives without taking the bus or an occasional underground, but use them wisely and sparingly. The detectives should manage their limited supply of tickets well. Typically, detectives think most about protecting their limited supply of underground tickets, but I think a bit differently. A wise Mr. X, in my opinion, will try to manipulate the detectives into wasting taxi tickets. As the game winds down and as the net tightens around Mr. X, taxi tickets will not only be useful, but necessary to fully shut the door. If the detectives run short of them, it would be disastrous and Mr. X can slip through their fingers, unable to be stopped. 
So I recommend spending bus tickets instead of taxi tickets if they take you to the same destination. As the game wears on, you will want to keep your supply of bus and taxi tickets in similar numbers, but if you have to decide, save your taxis for when you really need them. Number four, dealing with double moves. Mr. X will generally come really close to being captured three times during a typical game of Scotland Yard. Having the double moves will help to mitigate two of those instances, so you will want to hang on to them for that purpose. An interesting alternate use of the double move is to take it as part of your surfacing move. You can either surface, then take a double move, or move, surface, and then move again. Black tickets will be especially useful on the second of these moves to really mix things up. Also, if you see the net closing around you, use the double move sooner than later to get yourself fully clear. Don't be precious with them. They don't need to only be used in a last ditch effort to avoid capture when playing it a turn or two earlier would have saved you for sure. Don't save them for the end of the game as by then the detectives may be so short of tickets that even though they know where you are, they can't get to you. So aim to use those up between turns three and 18 or so. It's best to use them around turn eight if you can, but you may need to use them as soon as turn three if you started out in a bad spot. The goal of the detectives with respect to the double moves is to get Mr. X to use them up as early as possible. Try to stay within a single hop of underground stations and ferry launches, which will force Mr. X to waste them early in an attempt to put distance between you. Number five, other considerations. As the detectives, when you are computing the moves available to Mr. X, never forget to include the possibility of Mr. X doubling back. It is a common move, especially if he feels cornered, and keep an eye on the person controlling Mr. X. A bead of sweat on the brow or another tell might indicate to you that Mr. X has made the bold move of ending movement right next to a detective, hoping to sneak past. Bluffing is the key to success, says Mr. X. Be unpredictable, double back, take calculated risks, move inside and outside of the ring the detectives are trying to close. There will likely always be an obvious route to escape, and that doesn't mean you shouldn't take that route from time to time, but you want to generally play your tickets consistent with the obvious route as long as it is safe to do so and force the detectives to take that into consideration. Black tickets will help with this bluffing. I almost always use a black ticket when taking a ferry as a possibility, and sometimes to obscure even a simple taxi trip. As mentioned earlier, there will likely be one time in the game when you need to use your wits to escape without a double move or black ticket to help you. You will usually just have to grit your teeth and make your best unpredictable move. Hopefully, you can slip past them, hop on an underground and be long gone. If this happens late in the game, it's usually game over at that stage as the detectives don't have the time or tickets to catch up. Overall, there seems to be some consensus out there that Mr. X can win about 30% of the time, so if you win as Mr. X, be sure to claim the badge of honor for having escaped. For the detectives though, nothing quite beats the look on Mr. X's face when you have trapped and collared him, so the bragging rights are totally yours in that case. We hope this strategy guide for Scotland Yard was valuable to you and helps you win more games. As always, please give your strategy ideas in the comments below, and while you're down there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. This has been Legendary Tactics.